We're live with Lunch Break Live. Chef Matt, let's get cooking. All right. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Hope you guys are all doing well and you are ready for a delicious lunch. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to make what I call a five-star salad. Now, these are the salads that I typically have for dinner um, because I've been a raw foodist for the last 11 years. And so dinner time is usually the time people want something a little heavier, um, especially if they're trying to eat raw. So I've figured out a way to make these delicious, satiating salads that I call a five-star salad. And so I'm gonna share this one with you today. It is a smokehouse salad, and it is one of my favorites. So to start off, I fill my bowl. So this is my big 12-inch uh, acacia bowl. Um, I always get questions about it, so that's what it's called. And so I filled it up with one medium to large head of red leaf lettuce. I always like to have like a lettuce as a, uh, the base of my salad. And I, I always try to, now this might sound like a lot, but I always try to have my salad contain at least one pound of leafy greens. All right, so I always start off with a big base of lettuce. So this is red leaf lettuce. And, and I'm going to go over the five pillars of this five-star salad with you so you kind of get the idea of what that is. So the first pillar is one pound of leafy greens, all right? Now, I like to have a variety of leafy greens in my salad. The second pillar is to have at least one of your leafy greens be a cruciferous leafy green like kale or cabbage or bok choy, arugula. I really love arugula. Um, they're a little more hearty greens. They have a little more calories to them. So they give that salad a really nice, uh, you know, hearty feeling. So I'm just going to dump in. This is about two cups of, of uh, kale. All right. So we're just going to mix that around a little. Then we've got all of our toppings. So we also want to have at least one, uh, some of a leafy green herb, like uh, basil, which is what I'm using today. I wanted to use cilantro, but basil was uh, all we have right now. So I'm going with basil. And so that is one of the other, that is the third pillar of my five-star salad. So one pound of leafy greens, at least some uh, cruciferous leafy green, and one uh, leafy green herb. All right, the herbs are really gonna give it that boost of flavor and just that really nice element that just makes it taste delicious. All right, so the fourth pillar of a five-star salad is to have at least five different colors in your salad. So the colors are the different antioxidants and polyphenols that uh, really feed our gut microbiome and they keep our digestion running health healthfully. And so five different colors are going to go into our salad. So we've got a couple different shades of green, so that's good. But we wanna get some of those bright oranges and purples and reds and things like that. So we're gonna put in, uh, I just chop, rough chopped uh, two, or two and a half carrots. So I'm gonna put those in. All right, we've got some red cabbage. Red cabbage is so beautiful. It is one of the most uh, vibrant and just nice looking uh, vegetables out there. And the purple color has the antioxidant. It's called the uh, anthocyanin. It is uh, isothiocyanate. It's a very uh, healthful compound. So I always try and get some purple into my diet as much as I can. All right, so I'm gonna put in that purple cabbage. Now we've also got some red onion. So that's also kind of more of a purple as well. So I, I like to use red onion in my salads. Now we've got, let's see, we'll put in a few button mushrooms. Now, if you don't want to eat raw mushrooms, uh, some people don't prefer to eat them raw. You can steam them or you can put them in, a, if you have a dehydrator, you can marinate them in some lemon juice uh, and then put them in the dehydrator and let them marinate a little bit and, and you can do it that way. Um, so I'm just going to have them raw today. 
Okay. And next, we're gonna put in some red, some uh, grape tomatoes. Grape tomatoes are one of my favorite types of tomatoes. They're so sweet and delicious. So that is our toppings. So if you can see that, all those colors are going to just nourish the body, give us what we want, uh, you know, nutrition wise, and just that hearty, you know, nice, comforting feeling at the end of the day um, or in the middle of the day. It's great to have a salad for lunch as well, which is, you know, we're doing a lunch show. Um, so if you want to make this and eat this for lunch, that is awesome as well. All right, so now the fifth pillar of my five-star salads are a homemade, whole food, uh, vegan dressing. All right, so we're going to, no oils, nothing like that. I try and eat just whole foods as much as possible. And, you know, you can make a nice, creamy, delicious salad dressing at home in, in just seconds or minutes. So it's super easy. I want to show you guys how to do it. All right, so we're going to use a Vitamix blender. You don't necessarily need a high speed, you know, blender to make these dressings, but it does help to really pulverize that down and make it nice and smooth. Um, so we're going to start off with a, a base of three tablespoons of sunflower seeds. So we're just going to toss those in. Next, we have one half of a lemon. And I like to peel the lemon and throw in the fiber and everything in there. I don't just juice it. You know, I throw it in just like that. All right. To give it a little sweetness, we're going to put in two medjool dates. And uh, you take the pit. You don't want to leave the pit in there. So make sure if you're using medjool dates, uh, open it up and take the seed out of there. Because that would not be good for the blender. All right. Next, we've got one clove of garlic. Toss that in, and then we have one, let's see, we've got um, one teaspoon of smoked paprika and one half teaspoon of chili pepper flakes. So that's gonna give it a nice smoky feeling and the chili pepper flakes are gonna give it a little bit of a kick. It's gonna give it some heat. All right, so we got that. And the last thing we're gonna put in is some Dijon mustard. All right, so I'm just gonna put in uh, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Okay. And that, oh, sorry, we actually, the, now to, to give it the, the liquid, we're going to put in, I've got three quarters cup of water. All right, so we're going to put that in. That's right, everybody. We are live with Lunch Break Live. What do you think is going to be happening here? The lid is going on. Feel free to join us. We've got a blender dance coming. Thanks, everybody. Matt, this is amazing. We're riveted. Take it away. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Paige. So, yeah, let's uh, get your dancing shoes on. We're going to blend this up. Here we go. Quick, that was a quick dance, but uh, you, you can leave it blending longer if, if you're really having a good time. But uh, we're on a short schedule here, so let's, let's take a look at this dressing. All right, look at that. Ooh, it's creamy. It looks delicious. Yes. All right, so now, for the dressing, if you want, you can... I usually will split the, I mean, usually I use the whole thing, but sometimes I will split it into two. And, you know, depending on how much dressing you like in your salad, personally, I like it really a lot of dressing, but some people don't like that much. So you can cut this, put it, uh, you know, get a little container, a Pyrex container, and you can save half of it and then pour the rest on your salad here and you'll have salad or dressing for two days in a row. Um, but we're just going to pour this all right on the salad. 
Incredible. Now, I just want everyone to know that through your health journey, which you'll probably share a little bit about that, um, you got passionate about raw and living foods and detoxification. And you also have ebooks and recipe ebooks, social media, where people can connect with you and a monthly newsletter. Okay, whoa, stop. Look at this, everybody. Wow, the color. Look at that. Gorgeousness. So, can everybody get on to myrawintuition.com and sign up for your newsletter? Take it away. They can. That would be outstanding. Uh, I would love to connect with anybody out there. Um, yeah, I'm just sharing my story of my life transformation and health transformation, uh, including more delicious whole raw fruits and vegetables in my diet. Um, I've had quite the transformation, and you can check out all of that over at MyRawIntuition.com. And as Paige said, I've got a newsletter over there that you can sign up to and get all of my, you know, latest happenings and uh, recipes and, you know, different tips and tricks for just increasing the amount of raw fruits and vegetables that you are getting into your diet. Wow. Can we see the salad one more time? And I want to say this is his own original smoke house dressing. It's got sunflower seeds, garlic, medjool dates, Dijon mushrooms, chili pepper flakes, smoked paprika, lemon, and a cup of water. Oh my gosh. Matt, I got to say thank you so much for joining us here on Lunch Break Live. Everybody, thanks for finding us here, joining us, sharing this out. I mean, Let's just put it this way. We need more fiber in our diets and the raw solution with the raw intuition of Matt who provides this information is just priceless, y'all. So, wow. Last, last words with you in that salad up close, if you don't mind, because we love seeing that salad. Um, and then we'll take it out. Go for it. Right, Final yeah. words from you, Matt. Yeah. What's that? Final words from you. Oh, final words. Well, First of all, thank you, Paige and Unchained for having me on to share with everybody. Um, you know, I, I just am passionate, like you said, about sharing um, just the, the amazing benefits of eating more whole foods and getting back to, you know, more of a natural lifestyle. Um, and so I just encourage you, if you are interested in, you know, just improving your diet or lifestyle to really consider including more raw fruits and vegetables because they just, there's just nothing like them. And once you start to feel, you know, the, the benefits of including more raw foods in your, in your diet, um, you'll definitely be glad that you did. Uh, thanks again, everybody for watching us here on lunch break live, and we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.